you're the style expert. Well, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a story time because we kind of dropped the ball, I guess. We filmed the last like probably like five days and just sporadically and didn't really string it along together. And anyways, so I'm here to story time it so that it makes some kind of sense um, and we can still use the footage that we did get over the last little bit. So we started off with making a trip to the mall um, because we wanted to pick up something really exciting for me actually for this pregnancy, something that I've been counting down the days till I could actually purchase. Um, this sounds so funny once you guys realize what it is, but <laughs> I have been so excited for it. Hey guys, welcome to today. We are starting off the vlog, well, it's just me. <laughs> Caleb has run into the store into Babies Are Us um, to buy something exciting for me, which I'm super excited for. Um, and it's a pregnancy pillow. I feel like I need it now. <laughs> Even though I know a lot of people wait until they're further along in their pregnancy, I'm like, I might as well just be so comfortable now and just take advantage of it while I can. So um, he's gonna get me that and I'm staying in the car. We've run a couple errands so far today and I've just stayed in the car um, because I have found that when I walk around, even like literally even just from here to the car. Oh, he's back. Yay, can I see it first? Come bring it here, I wanna know. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean. This one was on sale, so we got the one that's on sale. Look at it. It's huge. They just yeah, like it's shoved just like it all in. Curl around. If you look at the bottom here, you can see all of the ways that you can use it. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. I can't wait to go to bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seriously it's so excited. It'll be so comfortable. I'll even let you try it. Oh really? Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> What I was saying is I found even just from walking like um, from one place to into the store uh, is too much walking as for my SCH. So I have just been hanging out in the car, um, but that's kind of... You can be the receipt holder. Okay. That's what's going on and it's okay by me because it just means that you're amazing and helping me out and doing all the things. I just, I want to do everything that I can do for you. Thank you. I love you. It's fun for me. Also, um, I did not realize how terrible this looks together. Stripes and then stripes. It just doesn't work at all. You, and I didn't uh, realize. So I didn't give you good advice when I said it looks okay? Well, I just don't think it looks very good. Because they're very different. Like I also said that you were going to be in the car the whole time. So it doesn't matter. So it matter doesn't matter. You. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no one is seeing you. Just all the people that watch the video. And they're Which is like, a lot of people. Geez, they learn how to dress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at least my pants are cute. They I got cute. that going for me. They're so nice. I've always loved pants with the designs like this. I know. They're so cute. I've never had any just regular. It's the style right now, too. Is like it? It's very much in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're the style expert. Well, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's, that's, the whole, that's what we're talking about right now. No, that last two videos ago, right? With your... Oh, with the pink blush stuff. I mean, definitely you looked really good and all that stuff. So thanks. these are, I mean, these are those pants. So. It's okay. I forgive you. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I think you have to finish it because I've had mm. a lot. Um, but we're about to go. We dropped Ellie off at a groomer's appointment before we came here. So she's getting all cut, all her hair cut off, which is so sad. Um, but we're going to go visit my dad because we have to wait for like a good chunk of time before we can go pick her up again. So we're gonna go visit. We're gonna go visit my dad really quick here. <laughs> After we had a really nice visit with my dad and stepmom, we headed over to PetSmart to pick up Ellie from the groomer. As you can tell, she looks like a totally different dog with her hair cut, um, but she's still so cute. Here they come. <laughs> she looks so funny. Hi, funny girl. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Aw, she always looks so funny when she first I know. gets back. And she's so hairy because of all of the loose hairs. Yeah. She doesn't shed, but I'm covered in hair because <laughs> I forgot the leash. Hi, sweet girl. Yes. Hi. Oh. Hi. Mm, what a okay. cutie. And then we just went home and picked up some food to eat. Um, and then that was basically the end of that day. Oops. 
staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. I think this next bit wasn't even the day after, it was the day after that. Um, but Caleb wanted to talk a little bit about a project that he was working on. On the one day, he spent like six hours working on it, and then on the next day, he spent like four hours working on it. So I basically didn't have Caleb to myself for that weekend, which was too bad because he had just gotten home from his trip to Vancouver, as you guys saw. Um, so I was just kind of like itching for him to finish, but he did finish. He worked really hard on it, and I was super proud of him. They are certain of what awaits them when it all ends. Good morning guys. So we didn't end up vlogging anymore the rest of that day, but uh, it is a couple days later and I just finished working on a video that I'm really excited, I'm very proud of, and uh, it was basically my trip to Vancouver the, the past week when um, I was gone from Ayla and I... <laughs> gone from Ayla? <laughs> Ayla, was, if that makes sense. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. But basically, um, yeah, I just filmed a lot of different stuff and edited it differently and put together a project that I'm really proud of and, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've gone and seen it, let me know what you think. Um, or if you haven't yet, go check it out. Yeah, it's a little bit different from our normal videos on our channel, um, but uh, yeah, again, it was a lot of fun for me to make and I got to be creative, which was exciting because uh, we don't always get to be that creative and any chance we get, it just gets those juices flowing and I don't know what I'm saying. Ava's making fun of me. She's... I'm not making fun of you. Yeah, I, I can see the did... way you're smiling. And... No, you did a great job. It's just cute, but you're... This is not my good look. <laughs> you look really good. You got a glow, Ava. Okay. It's <laughs> called sweat and oily skin. <laughs> don't tell them your secret. <laughs> And then this next bit is even like two days after that. <laughs> I told you, this is just a mishmash of stuff. Uh, but I definitely wanted to document this moment because it's something very important to me. And that is having my very first midwife appointment. I was 11 weeks, three days at that point. And I had actually made this appointment when I first found out that I was pregnant back at like four weeks, three days. So I've been waiting a long time. So I'm just making myself some breakfast and then I'm about to head out. Um, I have two appointments this morning. The first one is a blood test and it's part of the first trimester screening. And then right after that, I actually have my very first midwife appointment. Um, it's kind of weird because I don't know 100% yet if I'm staying with the midwife. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I still haven't heard back um, from my referral for the high risk OB yet. I don't know. I'm just really in the dark right now. <laughs> I'm trying to stay calm and not like freak out over it, but I'm just gonna go to this appointment, see what she has to say, see how it goes. But I am excited because this is something that I actually booked right when we found out we were pregnant, and so I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting uh, for this appointment. So I think it will be good, but I also don't really know what to expect from it. It's supposed to be an hour long, and it's just kind of like the first assessment, like get to know me kind of thing, so I guess we will soon find out. So whenever I leave the house, I have to make sure I have a few things with me, just in case my nausea like takes over. So I always have a water bottle, and I have these snacks in here. This is full of saltine crackers, and yeah, I just keep them with me all the time. Since stopping the progesterone and oil, some things have started to come back again, um, but I'll talk about that in a pregnancy update coming up soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to like be prepared and hopefully that will help. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be I swear, September started and bam, the leaves started changing just like that. It's crazy. Okay, I'm a bit early for my appointment, so I'm just waiting um, for a few minutes. Um, but I figured I could take this opportunity to talk to you guys. And so last night, my sister and my mom came over and um, just because I have been, as you guys know, taking it really easy, have barely been leaving the house or anything. Like this right now is the first time I've left the house in like a week. So during the visit, um, my mom seemed like really excited about the pregnancy and stuff and was chatting about it so much and kept wanting to like talk more about it and um, was talking about her pregnancies and it was just really cool to have like something that we connected on because so many people in my life can't connect with me about infertility and the last five years has been infertility and so it's just so interesting like being in this new chapter and 
just seeing how like that is affecting the people around me. So I offered to get out the Doppler and listen to the heartbeat so that she could hear it. And she was like, yeah. And so when I was doing it, um, it was just fun. She got really excited and she told me she's good. she wants to come over once a week to hear the heartbeat. And then today I was scrolling through Facebook and I noticed she changed her Facebook status <laughs> saying that she heard her grandbaby's heartbeat. And it just makes me so emotional because hormones, one, and two, just spent so much of the last five years feeling um, just down and, and, and kind of alone in this whole process and so to feel like and to feel like we're in this chapter and everybody's excited and happy for us is just such a big thing for us so okay I am still a little bit early but I'm gonna go in anyways so I will talk to you guys uh, as soon as I get back which will be an hour for me but will be just a few seconds for you for the talk of the town that we are in. So the midwife appointment went really well. We had an hour long visit where we talked about, you know, like my history and some things that I am looking for for the birth and, you know, going over all of the stuff that you do when you first go to a midwife appointment. <laughs> and it was really good because I really felt connected to her. I really, really, really liked her. Um, like I would be friends with her outside of this if I could. She was really sweet. And so my midwife team is a team of two. And what that means is I'll have appointments with the two of them just like alternating. And then when it comes time for my birth, I'll be guaranteed will be one of them. And then if it works out and the other isn't busy with another birth, then I'll have both of them. Um, but it's just a way to ensure that I'm building a connection um, with the person that's caring for me. So it was really fun to get to know her, of course. Uh, I am still waiting on my referral and the phone call from the high risk OB so I still don't know like I'm still in the dark about that and I don't know uh, what's gonna happen with my care moving forward uh, so I just decided to take it one day at a time and just appreciate the moments that I'm getting and if that means I only get one midwife appointment then that's great and if it means I get the rest of my appointments to be with my midwife that's good too I don't know. <laughs> we'll just have to see what happens. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for this vlog. I hope you were able to follow along and yeah, we're gonna try better next time. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in our next one and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.